And we are starting off right and fast as we're going to be diving into River Drift. So how things work as we have a, a large sum of players here, which means that we've got a lot of room to do a lot of cool things. And the main thing that we're doing is we got, what am I doing? We've got pools. So think pools work a little bit differently from what people might be used to, to standard table turf battling. Uh, everybody kind of plays three games against each other. Doesn't matter if you win or lose. What matters is you play your games. Ooh, that is a really good stringer spot. If we can get the defense off first. No, go for the stringer! Oh, wait. Oh, there could be a really wild uh, follow-up, depending on what AJ does next. But yeah, it's very exciting. Very fantastic. Gives players a lot of time to play and dabble in things with each other. So I'm looking forward to seeing some very exciting gameplay. Uh, please do not be afraid to let me know how the audience... Yeah, they're trying to fish for it now. It's a little too late for that, unfortunately, for Zachary. Uh, Would have been a really good play first, then followed up with the Stamper. Oh, it would have cut right through that end parry. It would have cut straight through that end parry. And it would have been phenomenal. But, we are still getting some really good plays from Zachary. Um, AJ is definitely not doing too badly herself. As she is currently holding on to a... What is this? A... Six... A 12 point lead. And is steadily building up and special while she is at it. Zachariah looking for some kind of small fry setup. All the good spots up there were taken because we didn't play the strainer. That was the moment the strainer was made for. It breaks my heart. It breaks my heart that it was not played. We do get a nice little small fry combo here. Uh, especially since chances are very high. Zach does not have Octopod in his deck. So yeah, it should be a pretty solid play. Get him a couple more special. Build up that meter so that when we get to the final few turns, he has meter to be able to utilize his supers. You can tell where the meter is by looking at the end, left end of the screen. Uh, both players have these colored blocks that are filling up there as they surround the special box, blocks on the field. Ooh, Marina does not want to fit anywhere. You cannot overlap uh, play pieces with other pieces on the map. So that's just going to be a little awkward for... Oh, we do find a spot, but it's unfortunately not going to grant any special. And barely even allow Zachary to catch up. Four turns left, we're forced to pass. Splat Charger comes in, that's gonna give AJ eight more points. Name of the game is very much like Table Turf. Whoever has the most points, they are the victor. They get to walk away with winning. So, it's all about filling up that board and as it currently stands, AJ's been doing a phenomenal job. That would be a pretty so decent strainer. We do want to try to... Something that uh, Zachary could be doing here, though, is positioning it in a way to feed up and build special. Lining it up to be able to get at least that one other special block. Maybe having something to do in the next couple of turns would have helped out. But alas, that is not going to be the case. As we Zachary is forced to pass on the final turn. Poor, poor Shiver is not coming out. And AJ is absolutely, with pure certainty, claiming this game. 
Oh, I have that backwards. I can fix that. I'm going I'll have to fix that. I just realized I have a a bit of an a UI uh, faux pas, which I will remedy in due time. But yes, first game going to AJ, setting her up relatively strong, getting some very, very nice tempo. And likely setting up a nice lead and being able to build tempo off of that. Oh, actually, I could fix this one. Really? Oh, no. Okay, I see everything that needs to be done. I've got a whole project for that, so hopefully nobody notices. <laughs> Looks like as we are going to be heading to our next stage, we're going to be going to somewhere clean and straightforward. River Drift will be the next stage pick. Yeah, Zachariah seems to be... Seems pretty confident. We've got some base combos. We've got some decent strategies kind of playing along. It's just... Needs to... He needs to kind of... He missed out on a really important read. That's ultimately everything that kind of happened in that last game is... There was a really good moment to play... The Strainer instead of the Stamper. And he decided to be a little more careful... And went with the stamper hoping to do a or he was going for a much stronger combo if things worked out but because he did not go for that play uh he ended up or instead because he didn't go for the safer play he ended up losing out on his chance to do most of anything And put AJ in a much better position because of that. Heading into game two. Alright, we've got a clean wall off. Zachary is fully planned out on this. Uh, AJ, definitely not a slouch here either as she has a very clean combo. Gets a special off on top of it. Actually gets even more points than what a or Zachary dropped off too. As um, while securing her base. A lot of planning and forethought has gone into AJ's deck building. I can see very clearly. Because this is a game where you have to... You really have to plan out what cards you bring to each stage. Because if you don't realize it, or if you don't plan out the right cards, if you don't build your deck really well, there's going to be a lot of situations where you're going to kind of run into dead ends. Out comes the Octo Trooper, out comes the Slosher. Both are actually doing fairly well here. Uh, Zachary looking for some kind of push. I think try to see that's if that spot would fit. It probably does. But that's a huge stretch to be able to reach there. I am already getting pointed. Or actually, no, that's not the thing. That's not the thing. I'm not getting called out for the thing that I did. That's fine. I'll, I'll fix them during like a break or something like that. Looking for a splatter shot position. Could I think uh, Zachary could actually get the blaster in that bottom corner, and that would guarantee a special. Would be worth more points too. I think seeing this, he's trying to go for some kind of base building combo, though I'm not fully aware of what cards he has, so I'm unsure how effective it would be. And again, Zachary in a bit of a rough shape here. Sixteen point deficit. 
forced to pass. AJ has a massive special lead. Just a lot stronger base building combo. And what by, I mean by that is AJ has put, uh, built a lot of her cards to be able to surround the special blocks in a way that guarantees that those specials are activated. Or you look at Zacharias, and he has unfortunately not been able to set anything up to get the combos he wanted. He definitely has some of the cards. I saw the Slosher, and he's got Callie and Marie, so they are meant to combo together and get both specials very cleanly, but just didn't draw them in the right time and made other plays and decisions that ultimately impacted him in a way that hurt or prevented him from being able to claim a game, claim this point, or get the tempo that he was really looking for. So that is another point for AJ, setting her up with a 2-0 lead. That said, the game is not over. This is not a best of three. This is a play all three, which means that we are going through every single game, win or lose, flames or fire, fun or not. Hopefully it's fun. But yeah, we're going through every single game, making sure that we are experiencing... We're getting as much playtime as possible. TBO wants to be a more inclusive, more exciting place for players to participate and experience this beautiful game together. And what that means, when we do like round robin for, for phase one, it makes it a lot easier to be able to achieve that dream. Because people get to hop in, they play their games, they have their fun. They get a lot of time experiencing table turf because there are three rounds of round robin, which means that they're guaranteed at least nine games. And then, and then we actually have something very exciting that's been added uh, recently to the table turf series. Uh, there is the alpha bracket, which is winner side, and then there's a beta bracket for the players who might have struggled a lot more. Just because you didn't make it through pools doesn't mean you're out. It actually means that you're grouped up with people of your player skill and level. And you get to play with people of your talent. Which means that you sh you might even you get way more games, maybe. They might be games right up your alley. Who knows? You might have struggled with the uh, pools, but then you make it out one way or another, and the other side of the pools that you've made it out in, you might just do swimmingly. Looking at this game two, game three, we have had a Ralph start having to had to play a 10-3 right from the get-go. AJ blocking off a section has a good chance to do some aggression. I see there is a combo that wanted to be played here, but could not manage to make it fit and is forced instead to have to play a very defensive uh, dually squelcher. Manages to section off a little bit of more land for himself, but Zachariah is definitely in a rough place here. Has to try to find a way to... Has to find a way to weasel out of this situation. As AJ clearly has a lot more turf in contention, this is where, even in like a difficult spot like this, good base building is essential. Even when you've got like a little pocket, you got your space is just a bunch of pocket lint. If you've got good base building, you can work with that pocket lint and you can push your way out. That said, this was a very difficult start for Zachariah, and I'm curious to see if 
Does that actually fit? One, two, one, two, three. That actually would fit. There's a spot in uh, on the lower side of AJ's base that that would actually have fit into. Oh, that's a good spot. There's a good spot for the slosher. I want uh, Zachary. Zachary, there's a good spot for the slosher. Put it in your base. Put it in your base. Put it in your base. We believe in you. to lock a bunch of things because oh no i looked away for two seconds he didn't put in the spot that would have guaranteed two special for zachari and kept him much more in the game but unfortunately his choice of location is not going to grant any special and forces him to pass. We've got some okay spots for the end zap. No, yeah, we've got... There's a spot back where the slosh or would have been to guarantee that special. We do get a read, though. That is good. A very nice catch there. Out comes the Trizuka. The poor Inkjet is forced to pass and Zachary has no cards to play here. Everything is three special or four, which just hurts to see. Well, comes the splatter color screen. And that is going to be the final game coming in for AJ. Getting a clean 3-0. Excellent games from AJ. Zachary did do pretty well. I do not want to, like undervalue 